today we're driving a pista. The pista is very rare, very nice. Apparently, I think Italians sound like Borat for some reason. Welcome back to Need for Speed Heat. Today, we're driving the 488 Pista, which is one of those cars that you really have to be careful saying, especially on YouTube. The pista is very nice. <laughs> so to me, this is the most difficult car in the game to unlock. Obviously, it's a little bit different if you are struggling to hit level 50 on your crew, but I would say this takes a lot more effort personally. Yachi Marsh, do you like my Ferrari? I fully expect to be shot very soon, but it sounds like a suppressed Ferrari. We're going to change that. Now, normally I would drive to the garage, but today I'm feeling lazy. <laughs> I have unlocked new car. It is Hurricane Performante Spider and the 488 Pista. <laughs> Who would have thunk? I had no idea. Right, let's do it. We have got everything basically unlocked in this game now. There is nothing else left for me to unlock, really. That's kind of sad to think about, but let's go through all the things we have av available. So already as a standard, the potential horsepower is 1,200, which we can actually bump it up by five if we swap the engine. Now, quite frankly, what I like about this is that all the engines are very similar because of that. All of them are around the same class. It's already a high-end car, so it's going to let us know if it's really worth engine swapping this car by looking at the 0 to 60 opposed to something else. And it seems like not not really. We're going to stick with the standard engine and just throw in the ultimate plus parts. I know that there's probably someone out there that's tested all the engine configurations, but realistically, at least in overall performance, it seems like the standard engine is the best bet to go. And it's also the cheapest, so I could be a cheap nubby nub. Those are some damn good stats, I tell you. Right, next up, the visuals. Of course, it's not really going to be that extensive. It's not at all. In fact, you could actually make it look like a normal 488. If you wanted to. I mean, it's close to. But I, I ain't about that. I like the stripes. Can we change the tires? Oh, we can. Good, good, good. Better. Choose a wrap for me. Choose a wrap? Yeah. And then you have to say, I like very much. In an, in a, that was my attempt. At. I've been trying to do an Italian accent, but it sounds that more like Bora. <laughs> very nice. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like Bora as well. I can't now do an Italian accent. Yeah. It's very nice. Change my mind about the wheels. And again, we're, I've literally put these on basically every single car ever. And I tell you why. It's because they're the best wheels I have ever seen in my life. Time for some of the engine noises. Oh, because it is the last car we will ever unlock on the base game of Need for Speed Heat. We should choose to pick something very nice. How about a flashy, glowy, some kind of special underglow. I ain't no time setter. That ain't me. I make things look pretty and that's me done. Aerion is a race that I do quite often for money. Uh, the best thing I've done is uh, just over three seconds in an RSR. I'm expecting this to be a little bit worse than that run, but we shall see. Maybe it'll hold its speed better in the corner. Do you know be super cool about this if you could actually do some slight changes to the customization of cars that don't have customization? I know Ferrari don't mind customization because there's customization in the crew too of this beautiful car. And so, yes, what I would like to see is the lights changing the color of the lights, wing mirrors, change, tinting the rear lights. These are things that were super easy and super simple. I don't know why they didn't bloody do it. I tell you why, cause it's easy to not do it. How about you do it? It would be, it would, it would make me appreciate it a little bit more, a little bit more. Anyway, so far I am liking how this thing drives. Holy crap! That actually handles really well. I was not expecting it to turn like that. That actually, I kind of liked the, how that felt a little bit more than I did on the RSR. Of course, I didn't mean it faster. We need to find it out. That's what we're gonna do, honey. Because I am Italian. What? How dare I have spent so long? Don't you, you better have saved. Hey, we can actually do the race. This thing looks so much nice. What happened to my wheels? What on earth has happened to my wheels? That is horrendous. Oh my God. It's gone to race mode, okay? It's gone to race mode. I promise that's exactly, that's all that's happened. That was fully intentional. God, that is horrendous. <laughs> That's too much tire, man. It's too much tire. Too much. Not acceptable. I want a, I want a crap ride quality. You don't understand. Right. Give me that big tanker. But I am the big tank man. 
anyone uses small tanks, you bad. You bad man. You're not good. You you're bad at you're bad at games. Okay, big tank only. Big tank gang. Little tanks get the hell out of here. Oh my god, the turning at this car is really, really good. But one of my main questions is how is it in the corners? Something that's an issue with this game is obviously when it starts to drift, it thinks you want to drift, not hold power. It would accelerate and change gears while you're drifting if you... That, that's, that's what it should be, I think. If you have a differential for race and you start to slide, it should accept that you, it should change gears because I would want to actually get a good time. I don't want to be sliding like a stupid idiot. I want to be able to keep pulling through the corners like an absolute Batman magee. Look at that! It's so smooth! I don't know what you're expecting about time-wise. I'm not, I'm not, uh, not a Usain Bolt on the track. Do you know what I mean? You know? <laughs> the twisties again. Every single car messes up here. One thing I've noticed about this car that kind of throws me off a little bit straight away. Okay, this is before engine swaps. Engine swaps seems to fix this most of the time. It seems to have really, really short gears. And so in the high gears is where it spends most of its damn time. But that ain't what I'm supposed to be doing. I should be on gear three right now through this corner. It's like, nah, I've got no gears, mate. It ain't happening. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, the turning's messed up a little bit. This would be much nicer with a big meaty wang on the back with some crazy wine body boys, but I'll accept the pops are so good. <gasps> the best thing you could do is get out of that drift as soon as you can. Stop. I demand you to stop. You need to grip. You need to traction. Final lap, we're gonna give it a bit of boost. Bit of boost foot boys. Go on. Go on my son. Get it across the line. Woo, three seconds slower. It's okay, that's fine. It's fine. It is fine. It is not a problem. That was my first attempt. I was only three seconds slower. Now, granted, I am not a time setter. That's not the point here. The point is, I am bored of the RSR and I want to drive something better. I have had enough of this poopy, poopy mobile. Right, let's try something a little bit different. So that's got a lot of corners. And I feel like this car, in my opinion, is better. and more, It feels nicer in the corners. So what I want to do now is go for one that has a few less corners, should I say. For example, this one here. Which, again, is not a very fast... God damn! 250 with the FXXK Evo is my best one on this, which is interesting because this is an event I've done a few times. This car, do you know what it looks like on the back? It kind of looks like SpongeBob when his eyes go big. <laughs> is anyone else a no? Just me? Okay. It is time to find out if it is better than the FFXK Yochima. <laughs> Boost man! Maji! Right. Come on, can you beat your very much more expensive, less of a grind, big brother, with my awful driving in tow? Well, I have forgotten what my time was on the event, so we'll have to look at the map afterwards. But ultimately, this is not an event I do very often due to the fact that it doesn't give you a lot of money. It was one of those that used to give me a lot of money, hence only really having a really good time in the FXXK. And I always feel that car, top speed-wise, pulls up higher end quite a bit better. This, this is doing pretty good. I haven't actually paid much attention to the acceleration side of things, but in terms of turnability, I think this is my favorite handling car in the game, which makes me a very happy chappy. The holding high end speeds, it's okay. It's, it's fine, it's acceptable. I don't think it's great by any means, but uh, oh God, I hate this. It's like, do I hit through the barrier and slow down? They slow you down so much. It's much more of a forgiving car. I will give it that. You can turn a lot later in this car, which is something I'm going to have to learn. I love this, though. Having something that drives so differently. What? No! Oh, come on! That's so BS. Whoa, 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 whoa. Where did he come from? This is the final lap. I hate that corner so much. These things are my absolute worst enemy. I hate 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 those stupid plastic things at the side of the road get them out delete them i would rather go off the bloody track boosting down the road avoid the friggin curb it's really tough really tough though to be fair it kind of makes sense i don't understand curbs in america are usually 
three times bigger than curbs anywhere else in the damn world. Why on earth do they not flip you up more often? Should be the question we're all asking. It's the question on my lips, I don't know about you. You remember what I got in the other car? I don't. Probably better than this. Because I did flip up into the damn air. 250, come on, we were so close. I guess we must do it again. <laughs> <laughs> we're at the finish, we got 10 seconds to finish. Man, I think we're going to smash it. I think we're going to do it. Yes! And of course, as I was saying, that ain't saying it's better than the FXXK, but it's now my favorite Ferrari quite easily. It's good. It handles super well. It handles better than the FXXK. It handles better than the RSR. I ain't no time setter. I am just a money maker, mostly on Need for Speed at the minute. I mostly enjoy playing with friends, doing races, doing challenges. I just tend to jump between cars that I use on events. And I'm not going to say this is better than the RSR because it's definitely not in terms of speed, in, in terms of the overall package. But I guess when we start swapping engines, maybe there will be a bit more of a difference. So fix the wheels. And the only thing I want to do now is go into the engine swaps and see exactly what we're talking about. So we've got a fully upgraded car now. What's the best engine option to swap? It is this engine right here, which is going to reduce our horsepower. So I think, honestly, the standard engine potentially is the best engine. Well, hopefully you did enjoy. Be sure to smash that like button. Subscribe if you are new. And we will see you in the next Need for Speed Heat video. Until next time, peace.